Hello everyone and welcome back! In the last lesson we have covered the Angular change detection error that says expression changed after it was checked. This is an error thrown by the Angular development mode that happens from time to time, we have covered exactly what the cause of the error is and in this lesson we are going to cover how to fix it. Going back to our error message, as we can see this error message is actually very helpful. This message is preventing us from writing a user interface that would not behave as expected. We would be modifying the data here in our component and that would not be reflected to the template. That would be the type of bug that it's very hard to troubleshoot and reason about. We want to avoid that. Now that we understand the error, let's see how we can fix it. Let's go back here to our course component. This is the place to link the paginator with the data source. Let's now understand exactly why this method is problematic. What is happening here is that we are binding the page observable with the data source, but we are also here with start with null, forcing the loading of the first page. And this is actually what is causing the error. And in order to show that, let's remove this initialization of the first page. We are then going to reload our application and see that the first page is not being loaded, but also we see that there is no error here on the console. So this proves that it's the loading of the first page directly here on ng after viewing it that is causing the issue. We still want to load the first page of data, but this time around, instead of loading it here in ng after viewing it, which will cause the problem, let's instead load the initial data of the component here on the ng on init lifecycle hook. So we are going to be calling here the data source. We are going to load the lessons for the current course that we have received via the router. We are going to specify that we don't want any filtering to be done initially. We are going to specify the ascending order. This is the first page with index zero and the page size is free. With this in place, let's now reload the application and confirm that the first page is now correctly being loaded and we don't have any error here in the console. So this is the best way of solving this problem, avoiding modifying data inside lifecycle hook calls such as for example ng after viewing it and instead do data modification operations in other parts of our component. The best place to initialize the data of our component, as we can see, is the ng on init lifecycle hook. Now that we have understood and fixed our problem, let's continue the implementation of our data table. We are going to be implementing server-side sorting. 